In Xcode, working in the storyboard with UI Kit, Apple changed how they do the constraints. There used to be a button called Vary for Traits down at the bottom when we would choose our device and our orientation. That's gone away, and we now treat those constraints as objects. We can create different constraints for different sizes of devices. And the size here that we're working with in a phone portrait orientation is that this is a compact width and a regular height. So I just created an image with a picture of Oak Creek from Sedona, Arizona. And I set up some constraints of 25 pixels, top leading and trailing, and then aspect ratio, I wanna maintain the aspect ratio. And I set those up. And now in our view controller, we see there are constraints set up. There's, there's the one for the aspect ratio. And there is our top constraint, our leading constraint, and our trailing constraint. Now let's look what happens when we rotate this. So I'm gonna run it on the emulator. That looks great. But if I rotate this, the constraints are 25 pixels from the safe area left and trailing, and the image takes up our entire space. In fact, I don't even see the bottom of it because it's gone off the, the edge. So let's fix that. Then we'll add in another view. The leading constraint, I'm gonna leave it 25. That's not gonna change. But I will wanna change the top and the right constraint. And I could have also done top and bottom here as well, rather than the right. Either way would work. I'm doing these all to the safe area. I'm gonna to go to the top one. It's set up for the distance between the Oak Creek image and the safe area, as far as the tops, at 25 units. I'm gonna click the plus sign, and I'm gonna add a variation first for what I have, compact and regular. So again, the width is compact, the height is regular. And then I'm gonna change this to, let's go 75. And I'll add another variation. This one though, I want to be a width of regular and a height of compact. That's gonna be the landscape variation. So I'll click add variation. Now I also wanna change the anchor in terms of the trailing. So here's my constraint area for trailing. I'm gonna widen this out a little bit so you can see that. I'm gonna go ahead and set that constraint. Right now it's 25. So add a variation, compact and regular. And then let's make this, um, let's experiment a little bit here. I'm gonna try 350. And this one will be regular and compact. Add that variation. And now let's try this on our emulator. So there is the portrait and there is the landscape. That looks pretty good to me. Kind of maintaining the same size on both. We have a little more margin here, but if I increase the margins top and bottom with the aspect ratio, it's gonna push it way over to the right-hand side. And I don't want that. I wanna add some text on the right-hand side. So let's go do that. I added in a text view with some text about Oak Creek Canyon. So I'm gonna set up some anchor points for my text view. I want this to all be from the safe area because it's gonna be consistent. This is gonna be from the top of the safe area in both cases. And I'll do 25 and 25 on the left, on the leading and trailing, and we'll also do the bottom here. I'm gonna say add those four constraints. Now, again, let's go back and look at this in our emulator. Looks great there, but if I rotate it, I lost a whole bunch of stuff, partially because that top view is 290 from the top. It's actually down here somewhere. And then it's gonna be 25 from the left and 25 from the right. Again, let's stop our emulator. So once again, I'm gonna go back and choose to add some different constraints. So here's the bottom of the text view. I'm gonna go ahead and accept that as a variation for compact regular, but then let's change this to be 
75 from the bottom for our regular compact. Let me do the leading. So again, let's add that variation. But this one, let's do, we'll try 400. I may have to adjust that. And this is going to be regular compact. And then the top alignment, again, we'll add a variation. And we'll change this. Let's make this one 75 from the top. Regular compact. Add that variation. So we have variations for the top and the leading as well as the bottom. Let's try this in our emulator. Looks good there in the portrait view. Looks pretty good in the landscape view. I did a pretty good job of guessing those numbers. If you're, you might have to come back, maybe change that 400 to say maybe 420 or whatever, how much of a gutter you want between these, these items. So that's how we change constraints based on sizes, size classes in Xcode 14. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the iOS app development cohort playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos that I create, you can click my picture up in the top right and subscribe to the channel.